In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily bulk rename Revit families and types with very simple Dynamo scripts using the search and replace method. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you stay tuned for our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, in a previous video, I showed how to easily rename views and sheets, and then I got a request from a viewer who wanted me to look into how to rename, for example, walls or other category. So let's get into it. Let's look at how to rename family types. And here's my thought process. You wouldn't necessarily need to rename the actual family, for example, basic wall, because that doesn't really appear in your drawings, but you would focus on the type because you would schedule that or it would appear somewhere in your drawing or in your project browser. So let's go ahead and uh, use this as an example. So let's say, for example, that we want to rename all the types that have the word interior with the word int, just uh, abbreviation of it. That's just an example. So let's try that. So first we will need to retrieve all the family types. So all families, family types of category. And uh, next as the last node, we will need to set the name. So element set name and then we need a something that would uh, search and replace so in this case that could be string replace great so now let's go ahead and uh, connect the elements and that'll work like that. Now the name, in this case, will be the string that is being replaced. So let's go ahead and connect that. And see, as a reminder, it's always best to set your Dynamo to run on manual. Now, what we need here is the names, because as you can see, th these are the families, but we need to retrieve their names. So let's go ahead and look for the element name node and that way we know that the string, the name is what we need to search and replace. And, uh, and then of course we can create the two strings that are going to be used for our search and replace. For example, in this case, we can type interior and let's replace it with the word int, maybe with a dot and let's go ahead and put it there. And then of course, now I haven't set a category yet because we can set it as a, as a last item because you can uh, use different categories for this. So let's go ahead and set walls, um, actually categories, and then we're going to select walls from there. Categories and then type W to find walls. And I believe that aside from this warning, because of the fact that uh, the, um, the script was running automatically. Everything should be fine. Now, of course, we can make all these as inputs, so we can uh, use them easily in Dynamo Player and have your team easily use it in Dynamo Player. Now, walls, let's set that to input, and so goes for these ones. Excellent, so let's test it out. As you can see, all the walls that are shown here, I just placed these tags as an example. Obviously, these aren't probably aren't real world tags, but it's just to show you how they change immediately as you as you run the script. Now let's go ahead and save the script so that we can easily test it out in the Dynamo Player. Now that we saved the script, we're ready to open Dynamo Player, and uh, this is the script that I saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit the inputs. And uh, for the second test, let's go ahead and uh, use doors, for example, just so I can show you a different category. Now, of course, we're going to select doors, like so. And in this case, why don't we do this? Let's try a uh, scenario in which you would have something like this where 
you would want to rename all the doors, say from the metric name, so to speak, to the imperial name. For example, in this case, that could be 36 inches by maybe 80 inches, like that. And let's go ahead and run it. Excellent. Now to finalize this, it's probably best for us to rename these two strings. So this actually say something like uh, search for and replace with. Okay, so we looked at how to rename, for example, wall types. Now, what happens if we try to rename components? For example, we want to try to rename all the plumbing fixtures that have the word plumbing in it with, for example, PL, just to abbreviate again. Now to do that, the process is a slightly different. We're going to find element types. And we are going to pick family, like so. And then all elements of type. Let's connect it like so. Now we don't really need these two nodes because these two new nodes will replace the old ones like so. So let's just leave these to the side and let's focus on this. Now, of course, we need to find the word plumbing and replace it with a simplified version PL like so. And let's run it. And as you can see, the war plumbing has been replaced. So of course, this was a very simple example, but you can scale it if you have a lot of elements, you know, if you have a lot of families to rename, this can be very useful. Now let's go ahead and uh, rename the strings so I can show you to rename the actual node that could be called something like search for and this could be called replace with right these are already inputs so what we need to do is probably save this as with a different name just because the previous script focuses on types and this one is focusing on families so let's give it a different name now let me know if you have any questions about this workflow and in the next video i'll show you how to bulk rename parameters with dynamo thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one